Hi everyone, welcome to eStudy.in. So in this video, we will learn how to create our simple Hello World program in Java. Okay, so let's start. So here I've already written the code and I'll explain it to you. Uh, firstly, we uh, whenever we start our program, we'll write the uh, class. This is a keyword. We will understand what a keyword is later. But as of now, you will write the keyword class followed by the name of the class. Now this name of the class can be any name. You can give it your name also if you want. So any name can be given here. So that would be the name of the class. So I've chosen to call it test. After that, on the next line, you will open the curly brackets. After that, you will write as I've written public void and then greed. Now greed again is any name. It can be uh, like it can be you can you can call it anything else if you want, but I'm choosing to call it greed. Okay, and then round parenthesis. Now remember that Java is a case sensitive language. So Java is a case sensitive language. That means uh, okay. So Java is case sensitive. Okay. So that means that we have to write it in small letters only. So whatever is written in small letters, it has to be written in small letters. And if it's written in capital, it has to be written in capital. Okay. So here, if you see class is all in small letters, but the test T is capital. So this, uh, this could have been in small or in capital test. Okay. Because it is a name which is given by user. Okay. So we will learn about these things later, but I suggest that as of now, you just write it the way I have written here. Okay, so public void greet, right? This again in small letters, open the curly brackets, then we write system. Now here S is capital. Okay, it has to be written as capital system dot out dot. This is print L N P R I N T L N print L N. Now it has to be written as it is and we will understand why the meaning of these things later but as of now we will first create our hello world program and then we will understand the various parts of this program so this program is to be written as it is and within the double quotes okay we have to close the double quotes here right and we have to close the double quotes after closing the double quotes you will close the round brackets and then you will put a you see this semicolon here semicolon is called a statement terminator okay and you have to Terminate this statement with a semicolon. Again, we will understand the meaning of this later. Now, system.out.println is to print the output to the console or to the output screen. Okay, and we will run this program. Okay, and we will see what is the output of this program. Now, I am using BlueJ. You could be using any other editor. You could type it in Notepad also. Or you, if you want to use Eclipse or any other ID, you can use that. But uh, just to keep it simple, we will use BlueJ. So let's type out this program in BlueJ. Okay. So we have BlueJ open here. Okay. Let me uh, just delete this class. And now I'm going to create a new class. So we'll choose new class from here. And let's call, give the name of the class as test. Okay. T capital. Right. Uh, then say, okay. You don't have to change any of the settings here. Leave them as it is. So choose class name as test and say okay so once you say okay you will get this symbol here now right click here and say open editor okay right click and open editor or you can double click and open so i'm right clicking now when you say open editor you will get a window like this you see this uh, the class name is coming here now we will remove this code here above the class okay and this class is public you can leave it public or if you want you can remove the public keyword if you want okay so we have a class test now we will remove the entire code which is written here and we will write our code okay so let me remove this code except for the opening and the closing curly brackets of the class okay so this we have so once you write class test you have to open the curly braces and you have to close the class braces and all the code will go within the curly braces now we will write public again remember it has to be in small letters capital not capital but uh, on the other hand lower case okay so public void and we will call this greet open the round brackets close the round brackets enter then open the curly brackets and here system s capital only this s of system is capital the rest is small so system then put a dot then out again in small letters dot then we write print l n this is not I, this is L, print LN. And here we will write uh, hello and world. And within double quotes, you can give use any symbols or you can write in capital or small. It will not make any difference within double quotes. Okay. So you can, you can write hello world in small letters also. Now close the brackets, uh, the round parenthesis, put a semicolon. Okay. After that, we have to close the curly brace of this 
public void greet. Now greet here, this is called the method of the class, method of functions, okay. And they have to, after writing the function name, you will open the curly braces, write the statements of the method and then close the curly brace. And every statement must terminate in a semicolon. So semicolon is called the statement terminator. After writing this program, you need to save it. So you can press Ctrl and S, okay, to save your program, right? Then we will compile it. So as I told you that once you compile it, you will get test dot a class file. You will get the byte code. So you compile it. So if you compile, you should not get any syntax errors because if you get syntax errors, that means your profile has not been compiled. So let me create a uh, syntax error here. So let me just remove the semicolon. So when I remove the semicolon, now if I compile it, you see it says error found in class. You see this? It is giving saying error one. Okay, right? So we need to remove this error. So there should not be any errors in the program. So we'll put a semicolon and now if we compile it, we're not getting any error. So you have to compile it before you can get the output of your program. Now once you've compiled it, you can close this window and you will click here, right click on this and you will choose new test. So when you say new test, it will say name of the instance. So you, we, we can leave it as it is, say OK. And now you get this symbol here. So right click and here you will choose this void greet. So when you say void greet, so you see we get the output hello world. Okay. So if you see the program, this is what we wrote, hello world. Right. So that is what we are getting in the output window. We are getting hello world. If you see this, right? So if you change this output, right, as I was telling you that you can write in capital R and small. So let me write it in small letters. Let me write hello. So let me change this to uh, hello and let us write word. So we can put any symbol within the double quotes. Now when you compile it, again every time you make any change to the program, you have to compile it again. Okay, right. And now we close it and uh, this is the previous output. You can close this window and now right click. You can have to say new test again. Okay. And right click and void greet. So you get, see, we get this hello world with different symbols. So this is how we can print something to the output window. Now let us go back to the program here. So this is what we got the output on the, so system.out.println is to give the output on the output screen or the console. Now moving on, we have here a slightly diff, uh, a different thing we have done here. We have two lines of uh, code here. One is system.out.print, not print ln, hello world. Then in the next line I'm writing system.out.print ln, welcome to the world of Java. Okay. Now let us understand the difference between print and print ln through this program. Okay. So let's go here and let's open this program double click or by right clicking. So here I have this line of code. Let me just copy this line, control C and control V. Now here I have print ln. Now let me remove this print ln here. And in the next line, let us write uh, welcome to the world of now in double quotes, as I uh, told you earlier also, we can write capital or small, will not make any difference, but the system S should be capital, right? So now we have two lines of code here, uh, system.out.print and println. So we will understand the difference between print and println. So now that we have made the changes, so we need to compile the program again. We have compiled it, we should not get any syntax, syntax errors. If you are getting a syntax error, that means you have to remove it, your program will not run until you have syntax errors in your program, okay? So now we can minim minimize or close it. So let me minimize this and now right click and we choose new test and we say okay and right click and we choose void greet here, okay? So when you say void greet, see, see the output here, uh, we are getting the output, hello world, followed by welcome to the world of Java. Now, we are getting the output on one line only. If you see this output, we can compare the output with this piece of code. So if you see this uh, output window, we are getting hello world because of this. And then welcome to the world of Java is coming on the same line. That is because we have used system.out.print. Now print and println are two different methods. Print will print the output on the screen and the cursor will, cursor will remain on the same line. So once I printed hello world, the cursor was here only. So the next line when it got executed, welcome to the world of Java, it will be printed here only. After that, the cursor will move to the next line because we have here LN. LN stands for next line. So print LN will, uh, will move the cursor to the beginning of the next line after printing the output. So here, since we do not have print LN, we just have print. So it prints hello world and the cursor remains on the same line. Okay. Now, 
let me make a change here so instead of print let me make it print ln okay now save it compile it again and let's run it again so let's close this previous output window and in order to run it again we can uh, right click here new test okay and right click and void grid so you see we are getting the output on two different lines so that is the difference between print and print ln method okay so uh, this is what so we we can say that difference between print and print ln print print cursor remains on the same line after printing the string in quotes that means after printing the string which was in quotes the print cursor will remain on the same line whereas if you have used print ln the print cursor moves to the beginning of the next line after printing the string in quotes okay now let us write this program to print your name and age so what we can do is uh, here we have written a class as I said the name of the class need not be test you can give it any other name but make sure that there's no space in the class name you cannot have two words with space in between okay so after that we have this method public void as I said instead of greet you can take any word so we choose show round parenthesis then curly braces now here I've stored the name okay so now this is string s has to be capital we will understand what a string is but whenever you want to store any uh, group of characters so it has to be enclosed in double quotes right and it is called a string string is a uh, basically is a class inbuilt class in java right so name of here we have taken a variable we will understand this concept of variable but for the time being just write the code as it is nm is equal to in double quotes abc followed by statement terminator this is semicolon then int age is equal to 15 again followed by statement terminator and then we are saying system dot on dot print ln my name is now if you see my name is in double quotes plus nm nm is this variable and then again we have i am plus age plus years old okay so let us understand this uh, code first we will write it and then we will understand the meaning of this code okay right okay. so if you see here We've already written this code here, so we have a string nm, and let's run this and see the output of this code. Okay, so compile it. So once you compile, you you're not getting any errors here. So now what we'll do is right click, then okay, and now we'll choose void show. So you see the output is my name is abc. I'm 15 years old. So if you want a space after is, so what we can do is we need to give a space here. My name is after this we can give space, and after, before years we can give space. Now changes have been made, so we need to compile the code again and let's run it again. So if you run it now again, okay, and you see this output. So we are getting now my name is ABC and I'm 15 years old. Now let us understand this output. What is basically happening here is, uh, okay, mm, let's have the output window also. So here, so whatever you write in double quotes is printed as it is. So we have double quotes, my name is, so my name is printed as it is. After that, we have this plus. Now what is this plus? This is called string concatenation operator. And after that, we have written nm. nm is this variable. It is called a variable. And when you want the value of a variable, abc is this value of this variable. abc is the value of nm. So when you want the value of a variable, you will not put the variable name variable in double quotes okay so if you see here we are getting we are not getting nm we are getting abc so abc is the value of nm so let me make and similarly here also uh, we are writing i am in double quotes then plus is the string concatenation operator then we are writing age so what is the value of age 15 so it is printing 15 then again we have string concatenation operator which is the plus sign and then in double quotes we are writing years old so it is writing years old right so whenever you want to print the value of a variable you will not put the variable within double quotes now if i make a change here and i've put the name of the variable nm in double quotes let's let's see what happens so we'll compile it again and now we will run it so when you see right click new test and you run it so if you see the output window we are getting my name is nm so nm is the name of the variable so when you say name of the uh, when you put the name of the variable in double quotes it will just 
print whatever is written in double quotes. So we will not put the name of the variable in double quotes. And what is the string concatenation operator? It is used in whenever we want to print some output. That means using system dot out dot print or print ln, we will use this string concatenation operator to join different strings. So here we are joining a string with a variable. So once the string has finished, we need to put this plus sign. If I do not put the plus sign and I just write like this, so it is going to give an error here. Okay, see error found. Okay, so that is why we need to put, put a plus sign here. Okay, and similarly here I'm putting a message. Then I want to print the value of the variable. So we have a plus sign. And again after the value of the variable, I have this message that means a string. So again a plus sign. So plus sign is used to basically combine the value of the variable and the string. We can say. Okay, so this is how we can create our programs in BlueJ or any editor and this is our first program and so here string concatenation operator. So in fact second program the previous one was hello world and this is how to print your name and age. Okay, I hope you like the video and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and please keep following eStudy.in. Thanks for watching.